three words to describe myself. I would say funny. I know that's kind of, you know, just generic, but I'm a funny guy. I tend to just sing random things. Like, instead of talking to people, I'm just kind of like sing it. And I, it's not necessarily a show tunes thing. I don't necessarily have to be very comfortable to do that. I just need to know your name. Sensitive. Ooh. Sensitive, yeah. Uh, simple. In a good way, not shallow, but just like, you know, there's no, none of the, none of the frills. I feel like um, the Lord in, in, uh, has always worked and worked with me in the transitions and the seasons changing in my life. I was praying and asking him, what's going on? What's next for us, Lord? And he was just being really honest and, and saying, hey, be specific. And, you know, I kept thanking them and I would have these thoughts, but I would, would but I would think or say something else that wasn't totally true, but I thought that's what he wanted me to say and thought that's what he wanted to hear. But I just kept feeling like he was like, no, no, that's not it. He was like, dig deeper, tell me what you really want. And I knew I was supposed to actually speak it and say it, and I just did, finally. And I didn't even know what I was saying when I said it. I just kind of opened my mouth and I would felt like such a weight lift off when I said exactly, specifically what I wanted to happen for, for me, for my ministry, for my music, for my family. And just, I just like doubled over and started crying. It wasn't even in that moment that I felt the Lord was actually gonna do all that. It was just that I needed to get it out and actually say it. And there was just such a peace that came with the fact that I knew He knows me now. Other people had always, you know, told me what I was and who I was in Him and how powerful this was or how anointed this is, and, and and it wasn't that I didn't believe it, I just didn't walk in it, I don't think. And I, I don't really feel like this, I'm walking into a new season where it's not only gonna be known to other people how, how much the Lord is using me, but it's actually gonna be known to myself, like how powerful His hand is on my life. I wanna lead out of that boldness and out of that place that I know He's gonna show up, I know He's gonna be faithful, and I don't have to worry about that, so let's just go. It's so much easier to lead people when you're going somewhere where you've actually been. And then uh, I'm gonna go with a fourth one, and that's relatable, because I'm super relatable. And you know what, I'll go with a fifth, because I'm Southern, and that's a, that's a great quality to have. I'm a simple Southern, relatable guy who's hilarious. <laughs> uh, it's been good for me to have those moments when worship outside of the corporate church setting and all that because it's for many reasons obviously just to be intimate and close with him on a daily basis that's that's where it is that's where we get fed just to have it be where the only thing that could come out of this encounter which is just with me and him and it's not going to be anyone else like necessarily being touched by this to, to let me know how amazing it was or how great it was that they were touched by this, but it's gonna be just me, just the Lord. And it's in those times that I'll, you can take that into the corporate worship and then go for it. It can make it easier to not uh, seek the approval of man and just in those moments. I really just wanna go there because I want to like show people like, man, I was just with him yesterday. It was amazing. Come on, come with me, let's go there. That's what I grew up on. I grew up looking for those moments and wanting those moments. There's something amazing, yes, about the whole church coming together corporately, singing the same thing. Let's believe this, let's go after this together and in unity. Once we go there, I love to take it. And now that we're all here, we're all together, let's go here and let's go find out what's what could be for something that the Lord wants to say and do with us today and maybe it's just for today, and maybe it's something that He wants to do that we grab onto and we keep singing about forever.